Hey guys, Brian here with the Forest Farm Project. Today I'm going to show you one of the many uses of the float function on the loader bucket. This makes this job so much easier and more efficient. Uh, we've got our, our footings dug. We're going to be pouring them this week, hopefully, and we want to get this dirt away from the hole so that when we're pouring our footings, we don't get dirt in the hole. And we also want the dirt out of the way when the block masons are here. It'll make it a lot more efficient for them to get the block laid and not have dirt falling in there or be tripping over all these piles of dirt. So we've got a bit of a mound here. As you can see where I'm at, I'm here and it drops down. Well. This is hard dirt under me, but there's a pile of dirt on top of here that's in the way. So what I'm doing is I've got my bucket curled down, I dip my bucket over the hole, I lock it into float function, and as I back up, it drags that bucket up over the hill. And that's gonna pull all the loose soil off the top and leave the hard soil still intact. So makes it a lot easier on us. We're not having to fight and figure out, am I in the hard dirt or I'm still in the soft dirt? I took too much, I didn't take enough, I gotta go back. So. This makes it a lot more efficient for us, and then we can come back with a rake or just a, a shovel real quick and move stuff out of the way if we have to, but this is gonna get the majority of the dirt really quickly, and that's what I'm gonna show you right now. As you can see up here on the loader, there is a diagram showing you what each movement of the joystick does. Pushing all the way forward gives you the float function. Okay, so your knob, as you know, you've got a range of motion. Well, when you hit that front all the way forward, you feel like you've hit a wall, push on through, that locks it into your float function. When you wanna come out, Pull it back and it unlocks. That's all there is to it. Okay guys, so I've got my bucket curled and I'm gonna drive up to this hill. And right when I start getting on the dirt, I'm gonna stop and lower my bucket down until I hit the ground, load it into float function, push it all the way forward, and then take my foot off the brake and just back up. And as you see, that bucket is riding over the contour of the hard dirt, pulling all the soft dirt with it and it's not digging in. I'll pull it back to where I want it, pop it out of float function, and now I've got a nice, mostly smooth spot of dirt. My tooth bar is gouging a little bit, but it's not a problem. I'll do another load, throw it into float, and pull on back. Okay, I missed a spot in the middle. I'm gonna go back up and pull that out. As you can see, it rides right over that hard dirt and just pulls us off. Works really well. Extremely efficient way to do this. And it allows us to get the dirt pulled away from the hole and not worry about knocking it in the hole while we're removing the dirt. Because that's our, ultimately what we want to avoid is getting dirt in that hole. As you guys can see, this is a really efficient way to move dirt and it helps so much when you're on uneven terrain. You throw it in that float function and go. Huge time saver. If you guys found this helpful, hit that big thumbs up for a like. Hit that subscribe button and check back off and we've got a ton of content coming as we build these houses and develop this farm. Have a good one guys.